Hi and welcome to the session. I am Shashi and I am going to help you with the following question. Question says, show that the minimum of set occurs at more than two points. Minimize and maximize z is equal to x plus 2y subject to x plus 2y greater than equal to 100, 2x minus y less than equal to 0, 2x plus y less than equal to 200, x greater than equal to 0 and y greater than equal to 0. Let us now start with the solution. Now we have to minimize and maximize. z is equal to x plus 2y subject to x plus 2y greater than equal to 100 2x minus y less than equal to 0 2x plus y less than equal to 200 x greater than equal to 0 and y greater than equal to 0 let us name these inequalities as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now for drawing the graph and finding the physical region subject to given constraints. First of all, we shall draw a line representing x plus 2y is equal to 100 corresponding to this inequality. Now points 0, 50 and 100, 0 lie on the line x plus 2y is equal to 100. Now we will draw this line by plotting these two points on the graph and joining them. This point represents 0, 50 and this point represents 100, 0. Joining these two points we get the line x plus 2y is equal to 100. Now this line divides the plane into two half planes. Now the plane that does not contains the origin that is the plane above this line represents x plus 2y greater than 100. So we will consider this plane now we will draw a line 2x minus y equal to 0 corresponding to this inequality. Now points 0, 0 and 50, 100 lie on the line two x minus y is equal to 0. Now we will plot these two points on the same graph to draw this line. Now clearly we can see this point represents point 0, 0 and this point represents 50, 0. Joining these two points we get the line 2x minus y is equal to 0. Here clearly we can see this line intersects previous line that is x plus 2y is equal to 100 at point P having coordinates 20, 40. Now again clearly we can see this line divides the plane into two half planes. Now this plane above this line satisfies 2x minus y less than 0. Or we can say this plane represents 2x minus y is less than 0. So we will consider this plane. Now we will draw a line 2x plus y is equal to 200 corresponding to this inequality. Now points 0, 200 and 100, 0. Lie on the line 
2x plus y is equal to 200. Now, we will plot these two points on the same graph and draw this line by joining them. Now, this point represents 0, 200 and this point represents 100, 0. Now, joining these two points, we get this line and this line represents 2x plus y is equal to 200. Now, again, this line divides the plane into two half planes, one above this line and one below this line. Now, half plane below this line represents 2x plus y less than 200. So, we will consider this plane. We are also given that x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is also greater than or equal to 0. This implies that the graph lies in the first quadrant only. We know this line represents y is equal to 0 and this half plane represents y greater than 0. Similarly, this line represents x is equal to 0 and this half plane represents x is greater than 0. So we get the graph lies in first quadrant. Now we will consider all the half planes satisfying the given constraints and shape the common region determined by all the constraints. We get this convex polygon. Now let us name this point as A, this point as C and this point as D. So, corner points of this polygon are A, B, C and D. This convex polygon represents the feasible region. Let us recall that the common region determined by all the constraints including the non-negative constraints x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0 of a linear programming problem is called the feasible region. So, this region is the feasible region. Now, according to corner point method, the maximum or minimum value of a linear objective function over a convex polygon or we can say feasible region determined by all constraints occurs at some vertex of the polygon. Now we can write the shaded region is the visible region APCD determined by system of constraints 1 to 5 which is bounded. Now the coordinates of corner points A, B, C and D are 0, 50, 20, 40, 50, 100 and 0, 200. Now we will evaluate z is equal to x plus 2y at these points. Now substituting x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 50 in this expression we get z is equal to 1 multiplied by 0 plus 2 multiplied by 50 which is further equal to 100. So we can write z is equal to 100 at 0, 50. Similarly, z is equal to 100 at 20, 40. Substituting 20 for x and 40 for y, in this expression we get z is equal to 100. Now we will find the value of z at 50, 100. So we can write 1 multiplied by 50 plus 2 multiplied by 100 
is equal to z. Now, simplifying this expression, we get z is equal to 250. So, we can write z is equal to 250 at 50, comma 100. Similarly, z is equal to 400 at 0, comma 200. Now clearly we can see maximum value of Z is 400 that occurs at 0, 200 and minimum value of Z is 100 that occurs at two points. They are 0, 50 and 20, 40. Now we can write hence the maximum value of Z is equal to 400 which occurs at 0, 200. And minimum value of Z is equal to 100 which occurs at two points. These two points are 0, 50 and 20, 40. Now we know that if the maximum or minimum value occurs at two points of the visible region, then it occurs at all the points of the segment joining those two points. So minimum value of Z is equal to 100 occurs at all the points on the line segment joining these two points. Now this is the line which joins these two points. So minimum value of Z occurs at all the points on the line segment joining these two points. Now we can write minimum value of Z is equal to 100 occurs at all the points on the line segment joining the points 0, 50 and 20, 40. So this is our required answer. This completes the session. Hope you understood the solution. Take care and have a nice day.